Um, well, I think a big part of the answer is just business and money. Uh, but uh, let me first state very clearly that, that there there is an alternative. To all, it is always put as uh, as if uh, nuclear. Uh, we just need nuclear for uh, our energy needs, but th that's not true at all. Mm. If you look what what is being set up in, in wind energy and solar energy around the world now, it's much more than than new, uh, much much more actually than new nuclear power plants. Mm. And some countries are already quite uh, have gone quite some way, mm. like like Denmark, which is producing twenty percent of its electricity consumption just by wind or Germany uh, where we had uh, last year uh, 20 point uh, 20 point one percent of our electricity consum consumption coming from renewable like with solar and biogas so uh, we just don't need uh, nuclear so why is it then still built? I think one, one or used. One thing is, is money. I mean, the talking about the old reactors in Germany or France, uh, which are written off already. They are like like uh, like printing machines for money. Uh, you can have something like two hundred or even three hundred. Uh, million euros. So this is, would be about two to three billion uh, Hong Kong dollars of profit from each nuclear power plant, ju from just one nuclear power plant, mm. is to two to three billion Hong Kong dollars profit a year. Mm. So How come this huge profit? Be because, uh, because they are, these plants are old, they are written off, and uh, uranium is compared to to coal or gas, very, very cheap still. Mm. So, and, and you you produce huge amounts of energy at, at one time, mm. because a nuclear power plant uh, has to run uh, nearly all the time. Uh, because of uh, technical reasons, you can go up and down with uh, with the nuclear power plant. It's quite difficult. But so, you it is used for. Uh, how to see for the for the background energy you know if you look at energy consumption you have a uh, it's moving over the day it's uh, during night it's slow and then it's mm -hmm. getting up during the day and so, so and you have some background level of, of uh, electricity consumption and this is done in countries like like Germany or France uh, or the US mainly by nuclear power plants so they're running through all the time, mm -hmm. producing very much, very uh, a, a huge amount of electricity consumption. Mm -hmm. That's why you make such a profit. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, for some countries, it's it's just good business selling uh, nuclear power plants, like in Japan, like France, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, U.S. still, and. China obviously is also uh, starting now. This is also just just business, and then I think there's also a kind of an ideological reason is uh, that uh, there is uh, uh, on oh now it's getting <laughs> actually philosophically, and <laughs> there is in 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 the concept of modernity uh, there is. Uh, to say there's a thinking of really ruling over nature so that we can just do anything we don't look uh, much of uh, what well, you don't try to uh, how to say to adapt to nature yeah. and uh, but we just do what we want um, and nuclear uh, Nuclear power is, is a kind of uh, try the ultimate intervention. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, the old, it's like like we really got the uh, energy source, mm. and we're now totally independent of, of uh, any nature. Yeah? 
just living in air-conditioned buildings and having as much energy as we want and we don't we have living in in, in uh, what's that in in, uh, uh, in malls in shopping mm -hmm. malls uh, on all this artificial uh, environment we don't uh, care about rain and heat and because we have as much energy as we want and so a nuclear uh, is somehow part of this thinking and it's very centralized it's, uh, it's about some just some guys male m mainly mm -hmm. I think 95 percent <laughs> <laughs> or even more are male uh, who uh, really they are deciding they are uh, controlling the technology for for millions and millions of, of people ju mm. just if you may it and uh, if you look at, at uh, renewal uh, and it's uh, not always but uh, most scientists much more decentralized it's just mm. Uh, like in, in Germany and Denmark, it's very common that you have small cooperatives, small groups of citizens just setting up one, two or three uh, windmills. So o owning them, getting some money from that, from that and the money would stay in the local community. So it's much more decentralized. That also means that political power is more decentralized. This political power always comes from, from money. Also in China, they have those um, uh, biomass bio using biomass, and uh, it's is just very easy for yeah. you if you have a farm, run, run, runs a farm, yeah. even a small farms, a small farm, you can use the animal waste and all the uh, um, uh, uh, take the vegetable and, and then the stock and so on, all the all the all the crops and the stocks and the crops you can use yeah. those for to generate. Um, at least you can have heat, heating and all, also all sorts of uh, household use. And it's a very much uh, decentralized thing and has been used for decades, yeah. actually. Yeah. And uh, so uh, it must be uh, ideologically bounded that we should you know, <laughs> forget those and shift on to something else. Yeah, yeah but, but you see, this example uh, shows that that also uh, the renewables uh, can be, uh, if it's done like this, what, what you explained from China, uh, can be much more democratic, actually, because people uh, have the control o over their energy use and energy uh, production, which you don't have if you have a huge centralized nuclear power, which is not only dangerous, but also deprives you of the control of a very important part of, of your life mm -hmm. so but or for, for example if you look at, at solar mm -hmm. uh, I mean there are about 1.2 uh, billion people in the world which are mm -hmm. still not connected to the grid mm -hmm. electric grid and there are another I don't know 800 million something like that which have very few very bad connection and mm -hmm. only have temporary access to electricity and if, if you would uh, build a centralized electric grid to so all the small villages in Africa and India and even China, some mm -hmm. quite some villages are still disconnected as far as mm -hmm. you know, it would uh, cost you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But you, if you, uh, if the electricity is coming from a huge centralized plant like nuclear or mm -hmm. coal, then you have to have this grid. But if you set up uh, a solar power or windmills, then you can do it just in the village, mm -hmm. and they yeah. don't have to be connected mm -hmm. to the national grid. Mm -hmm. So, and actually, that that's what right now is uh, beginning to happen because solar panels have become so uh, cheap mm -hmm. recently in the last mm -hmm. two years. Now it, it's affordable uh, if you have some schemes, some credit schemes affordable for for villages in Bangladesh and in India in, in African villages uh, to buy small solar uh, panel mm -hmm. and so to, for to have electricity uh, for the evening for to have electricity to charge mm -hmm. the mobile phone and all of this sudden they got connected to, to the rest of the world by phone by using computer and TV or 
they are having longer working hours. So, so there's kind of a democratic uh, revolution on the due to renewables, not not due to nuclear power. Mm. Yes, let's say uh, the ideological dimension and also the uh, political economy dimension of uh, nuclear power. Yeah. That's involved.